So uh, I'd like to, you know, welcome you guys to Huntsville Utilities to the robotics exhibition here. So, you know, who knows, we may be using robotics in the future to uh, administer some of our PMs on some of our equipment in the field. So uh, we really appreciate your guys' involvement. Uh, we appreciate the hard work you do and, and uh, stay at it. And hopefully we'll see you guys in the future as employees for us or, or either Huntsville Utilities. Well, first was uh, created about 1989 by an inventor named Dean Kamen, who thought there should be competition for people who didn't play the physical sports. And it has grown into this. The, the robot itself is not, we're not allowed to spend more than 4,000 on the robot. The teams have six weeks to go back and say, okay, how are we gonna do this? Design something, build it, test it, fix all the stuff they screwed up, and then try and have time to practice with it. And at the end of the six weeks, you have to stop until you go to a competition. It's a wonderful thing for the uh, young people. There's over $30 million in scholarships available. All you have to do is be on a team. And some of those scholarships are only for girls. And the kind of students that we need are kids that just want to get involved in something. They don't have to be good with science or math. If they are, that's fine. Or computers, if they want to do art, if they like to do writing, all of that is great. This year it's uh, a vortex kind of theme. So there's little uh, balls that are on the field that we need to throw into these hoops and like big balls that we need to put in the hoops as well. But they incorporated some of the challenges from last year into this year, like challenges that were harder for each team to accomplish so we can work on them again. I'm really into science. I want to go in probably into forensic sciences. So. I'm part of the Walt Grove School Lego teams. Uh, we built an attachment so we have a little arm that will, it's made to lift up a bee and put it on the little high. So I'm looking forward to some of the bigger robots there behind me. You get hands-on experience with everything. You get mechanical skills. He's electrical. I'm mechanical. Um, I built the drivetrain on the robot and he did the, he did all the wiring on it. Competition's a rush. It's, it's a lot of fun. And the pit is what's so lively because you've got 50 different teams all scrambling, all rushing, all trying to patch the robot together for another competition. Mainly, we have three different projects that we can work on. One is the core values, which are um, these different rules that we try to enforce in our lives that help yeah. us be better people. So this year, we're thinking about doing something with that. Uh, on based on their the disease white nose syndrome bats have, or we're gonna do something based on their echolocation to help blind people. If our teacher decides to go into bats, we will be fully yeah. equipped to have these big speeches about it. But. but in addition to that, there was a teaser released where the theme was steampunk, and the words "take flight" were involved. Oh, yeah. That. that worries me greatly, but it's going to be a very fun time. I'm excited, yeah. yeah. Kind of started without knowing anything about robotics, and so it was fun like meeting people and learning all about the program and stuff. All right. The best part for me is because we had a partner machine shop, I've actually gotten a job out of this already. I like, I am actually enjoying math now that I actually know it's used for stuff. With the help of TVA, we uh, got money and we uh, gave to Huntsville City Schools to support uh, four Title I schools to do robotics. We have an agreement with the Huntsville Housing Authority and we're developing science centers in these local housing communities. I'd just like to thank TVA for their support and what, what we're doing and different opportunities to expose what kids are doing. Uh, so I'd like to thank TVA for their help and, you know, and also Huntsville Utilities. It's been a wonderful experience. This program encompasses a lot of different aspects that they will use in the real world. From my perspective, I'd coach the robot part of the project, and it's a great chance for them to work as a team, kind of see how the engineering process works. Yeah, and I work in tech, and we, we need more women in tech. So if, I hope this is a way of encouraging more girls to be a part of technology.